Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the configuration Axios default global configuration we have seen, right? Now, in this video, what we will try to see is we will try to see interceptors and how we can write the configuration for particular set of requests and all those things. How we can write, we will try to see. So, now interceptors coming to the interceptors. So, we have we will be we already know that we will be having two types of interceptors that is, request interceptors and the response interceptors, right? So in this video, we will try to see the about the interceptors and the configuration. So before continuing to this video, as usual, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so that I will be posting more and more uh, front end development courses. Now coming to this video, here you will be able to see the interceptors. Here you will be able to see Axios interceptor dot request. Okay, I can copy this one directly, and I can go to the main here. Okay, I can go to the main here, and what I can do is. I can just paste it directly here. Okay. So this is the request interceptor. And here I can go and I can copy this one and I can paste automatically this one also. So this is the response interceptor. Let's try to see the output. Now these both are the response interceptor and the request interceptors, right? So here you are writing the config. Here, if you want, you can write something like config dot headers okay of or otherwise you can write dot common anything dot common of interceptor okay header you can write interceptor header is equal to interceptor header so through the interceptor i am passing the header so he, these are the default common headers okay this is the interceptor common header so through the interceptor so for every for any for any request we are making through the axios this interceptor will execute between before any request and it will add all the uh, configuration all the headers for this what are the configuration address and all the things you want you can add it here and you can return the config here now let's try to see the output if i try to see the output here if i go and if i try to inspect element if i try to do the inspect element the console if i go to the console and if i oh, sorry if i do the refresh here okay now we will try to see the post.json. If I try to see the post.json, and here you will be having the request headers. So here you will be able to see see interceptor header has been added. This is added through the interceptors request. For every request, this header will be added. And also Leela WebDev with get config is also added for this one. Okay. Leela WebDev with is also this is the global. So this is the global is for every request automatically defaultly we have applied for this one. These are the interceptors. Okay. Now for the response we will see for the response so if you try to print the response okay if you try to print the response here so for every request so we made the request so interceptor request executed so when we get the response before sending it to the dot then response is there right so before sending it to the here the post details okay here the post details the interceptor will be executed here interceptor so if you want to change the response any data you can change it directly so if I try to print this post response here, if you try to see, if I try to refresh this one, okay, if I go to rest, here, you'll be able to see the response. See. Now what I will try to do is, here I will try to change the data, okay. Now what I will try to change, change the data is, so here I will tell response dot data, okay, response dot data is equal to, I can write hi colon hi, okay. So I am changing the response. So for every get request, for every access get request, the response will be high high only. So for example, if you if you want to try the see see the data, now you will be not able to see. See here you will be able to see high C. Why? Because we are getting the from for the response from the response we are getting it as high. So now we have, we have bypassed that response. So for example, if I try to print the response here, console dot log response. Okay, console dot log response. And if we try to check the response here, so if I try to refresh it, this one. Okay, here we will be getting the response. So here we are getting from the post details. If you see here the file name also, and if I try to see the data, see hi hi. So that means I have bypassed the response. So that is the reason we are getting hi hi instead of getting the main response. So in this way, using the interceptor response, we can bypass the response. Or otherwise, if you want to modify any data and if you want to send the modify data also, you can send it. And here the request before sending the request, if you want to do any, if you want to change any request headers or a configuration if you want to change anything authorization everything you can do this one through the request interceptors also so this is the way we can use the interceptors in the axios 
the same in the angular in the http client module we have used the interceptor request interceptors and response interceptors in the same way we have used it right so in the same scenario we will be using like this now these are the interceptors and now another thing is so for example uh, no no i don't want these all the things for some for some particular type of request i want to use some configuration and particular type of request i use another configuration then you can do those things also so now you can take any other folder okay so you can create services folder any folder you come on and here create a new file something like axios instance okay so you create a new instance new axios instance for this one so create a axios instance.js any any name whatever you want you can keep the name and here you will be creating constant axios whatever the name you want you can keep axios instance is equal to you will be writing axios okay axios dot create okay you will be having this create for this instance you will be writing all these things axios instance is the axios instance dot okay headers sorry axios instance dot headers so dot common okay now here you can apply leela is equal to leela instance okay header you can apply this one like this so this one is the normal one so if you want to check leela instance you, you can keep this one so these things will apply automatically you remember you need to remember that these axios are uh, applied commonly globally and these are the instance things so it should, which will be applied for this one so let's try to see uh, check this one so now we need to export default axios instance so we can export this one so now i want to use this in the get request okay we will be using this one in the get request instead of using this directly axios what we need to do is we need to import axios okay so we from so here i can write slash slash services slash axios instance so i need to import this axios instance and i need to write whatever the name you want you can keep here axios instance okay so i will be using this axios instance here so now let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output here if i refresh this one so cannot read property common okay so what is the problem we are getting here axios instance okay headers dot common we have written something like this right so i think we need to read defaults also i think i didn't remember exactly okay yeah i think defaults also we need to write i think okay now we let's try to refresh this one so now we are able to see localhost uh, we are getting error c why because those axios it, it has not been applied i think for, for this main these are these are all not applying okay okay this is the instance right so we need to write our own thing so this instance so axios dot create we have created a new instance so these are those all things will not apply so now why, what we need to do is we need to write the base url also here automatically you can write like this or otherwise you can copy that one also base url we can uh, we can try to take this one all okay and here i can paste it here so this is the we can change all the configuration so this this is the configuration which is getting executed now if you want to check if i try to refresh this one okay now this is the post.json see now here if you see here you will be able to see the leela instance leela instance address see so what are the interceptors these are all the interceptors will not execute now so these interceptors and all those things if you want to execute here for this instance you need to write the interceptors okay so you can write your own axios instances for this own data okay for this own request so you can differentiate the you can differentiate the axios instance using this instance so you can have n number of instances like this you can create a number of instances you can apply for each uh, request particular set of inst uh, uh, requests you can use these instances okay so this is the way how you can use for particular set of groups so sending part, uh, particular headers for a particular set of header uh, requests you can use like this okay so this is how you can maintain the uh, instances so if you try to see the output uh, axios here so here you will be able to see handling errors and all those things are common and these all things are also common okay so if you want to learn more about this axios you can you can learn you can use this documentation and you can learn it here so this is the instance see axios you can add interceptors to the custom instance of the axios also okay so you can use the interceptors also for this custom instance also okay in this way also you can use the axios this is all wholesale about the axios configuration and all those things so why because i am telling these are the configuration means in the angular we have seen all those interceptors and all those things concepts we have seen right so that is the reason i am explaining to you here also okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you